Uh, good morning. We want to thank you all for coming out this morning to uh, express our um, ideas, our thoughts, our opinions about the superintendent's search uh, process. Uh, of course, we see that none of the main, uh, the mainstream media uh, is here. Uh, we don't believe that's coincidental. We think this is a coordinated blackout and this has happened before. It's not as if we have to beg the press to be here. This is news and they have an obligation to be here. So this time, we're not going to accept this. We're going to, in fact, plan an action against the press. Uh, we are very thankful for our allies and really our partners in this ongoing struggle in the media of Rochester, who's always covered all of our events. And that might not seem like much, but you'll find out soon that it is because what we always do is we post the recordings of our press conference uh, online and send them out across the nation for everybody to see what's going on so that when Mark and I were in New York City this past weekend meeting with people from across New York City and a few other places around the state, they're very much aware of the work that we're doing here and in fact was uh, kind of asking us for advice in terms of an action that they're planning this evening at the Board of Education in New York City. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we uh, don't like the fact that they're uh, not here, but as my grandmother used to say, one monkey don't stop, no show. And so we're gonna, we're gonna get this information out to the community and we're gonna proceed as if they were here. Thank you, Mr. Eagle. My name is Mark Friedman. I'm an educator. I work within the Rochester City School District and I'm also a proud community member and a member of the Community Education Task Force. So I'm gonna read a press statement and then actually we could take some questions from the audience. We could have a chance for some dialogue, being that the mainstream media is not here and I would love to have conversation uh, with Ted here and we thank Rochester Indy Media for having the courage and for being allies in terms of being here. Based on a series of events which have occurred over the past 10 months in reliable information gathered from several different credible sources, We've come to the firm conclusion that the Rochester City School District superintendent search and selection process lacks integrity and is biased in favor of Dr. Boheen Vargas. Therefore, we call on search committee members to speak out about the serious <coughs> fundamental flaws in the process and commit to development of a plan that will restore fairness and integrity. The process represents a partial chronology of important, relevant events that have transpired over the past 10 months. On April 20th, 2011, Jean-Claude Broussard <coughs> held a press conference to announce that he had accepted a position as superintendent of the Chicago Public School System. You're gonna miss me. <laughs> <laughs> On the same date, in conjunction with the Coalition for Justice and Education, CJE, and representatives of numerous other local grassroots community organizations and individuals, the Community Education Task Force also held a press conference. During our April 20th press conference, we issued a public statement calling on Board President Malik Evans and the Rochester Board of Education to work with parents, educators, and other interested community members to design a collaborative process and criteria for choosing the next permanent superintendent of the Rochester City School District. My name is Dan Dermasich. I'm uh, the chairman of the Coalition for Justice in Education, formerly known as the uh, Coalition for Common Sense in Education. Superintendent Brazard's resignation presents the Rochester community not only the opportunity to have significant participation in the superintendent's search and selection process, but also the opportunity to base their selection of the new superintendent on criteria that will help guarantee our students a just and meaningful education. The implementation of the standardization education reform movement and the intensification of it through corporate design strategies under Superintendent Brazard has produced little, if any, significant success for Rochester students. It has not increased overall student learning nor closed the gap for poor and minority students. In addition, we sent emails to all board members requesting to meet with them for the purpose of discussing ways in which we could work together to design a collaborative process. We felt that this was especially important following the chaos and tumultuousness which has occurred under the Brazard administration, much of, which, much of which resulted from his clear disregard and lack of respect for parents and educators. We also expressed our objection 
to the idea of spending large sums of money, especially considering tight budgetary constraints, to hire a superintendent search firm. After being totally ignored by board members regarding our request to meet with them for purposes of collabor collabor collaborating relative to the superintendent search process, at least 50 parents, educators, and other community members led by CETF and CJE held a press conference and rally near Malik Evans' home on May 4th, 2011. Also on May 4th, we attempted to deliver a letter to Malik Evans at his home, which was left in his doorway since no one answered the door. In the letter, again, we expressed our desire and willingness to collaborate with board members regarding a superintendent search process, and we requested a timely response. Between May 4th, 2011 and October 6, 2011, we continued to send board members emails and spoke out at school board meetings regarding our desire and willingness to collaborate with them to design a process and criteria for choosing the Rochester City School District's next permanent superintendent. Board members continued to ignore our requests. During this time period, there was no communication from the board with us or the general public regarding this critically important issue. Then, suddenly on October 6, 2011, we discovered that board members had illegally scheduled an unadvertised meeting to vote on hiring a superintendent search firm, Ray and Associates. Notice is, is through the, the means of uh, typically available through the website, through, through the communications that uh, are communicated. Like to the major press, right? Wait, what? Excuse me, Mr. Eagle, you don't have the floor. You don't have the floor. Communications with the media through the useful website. Um, that's our means of, of noticing the media. So which and media I, were notified about the contents of this meeting? Did you notify the largest media? newspaper in mean, town? We have the text of the law here. Yeah, she's there. I know. Did you not, notify Ms. Lincoln? I can't really get involved. She can't get involved. No. <laughs> But let's check the DNC. I think they'll tell you they didn't get a notice. But, but, but was the meeting noticed? To, to the largest newspaper in town. You're asking if I noticed the meeting. I, I did not. Well, no, no, I mean, I mean, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, so the meeting was noticed. Uh, they're not a media outlet. They were noticed by Monday. Yeah. Including the largest newspaper in town? Okay, excuse me. We're gonna follow reset. I can't deal with the disrespect. I mean, this is not a two-way conversation. You can't deal with the disrespect. You know what? I, I just can't. I'm not disrespectful. You're being disrespectful, but you're doing it from an official position. So it's not like you're being disrespectful. You're pulling the cover off of that. All right, reset. I can't. I can't have the cover off. I can't have you going back and forth with that. Well. All right, so can we, can we ask one simple question? You asked your gentleman whether or not notice had been given, and it was appropriate, and he said no. So. No, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Including the largest newspaper in town. Did not your own right? The only major daily newspaper in town. Is that right, sir? Mr. Johnson? I understand. Yeah. Yep, we're part of recess. And, and if anyone um, continues to be out, we'll have to ask you to leave. I mean, so basically, you're closing an open meeting, going to have to vote behind closed doors without community input. No, they're coming back. We'll be here. CETF and supporters, uh, particularly Occupy Rochester activists, responded upon short notice and prevented the vote from going forward by shutting the meeting down. On October 18th, 2011, the Community Education Task Force slate for Rochester Board of Education, Community Education Task Force, United Parent Community Organization, Parent and Community Coalition for Educational Change, Rochester Parents Union, Green Party of Monroe County, Rochester Adequate Funding Parents Facebook Group, Take Back the Land, Social Welfare Action Alliance, Coalition for Justice and Education, Metro Justice, Supporters and Allies held a press conference to again call for a collaborative process regarding selection of RCSD's next permanent superintendent. Then, on October 25, 2011, President of the Rochester Board of Education, Malik Evans, held a press conference where he announced the creation of a superintendent search committee composed of parent representatives 
from other board committees, political and business partners. At, at the beginning of uh, the fall last year, we said that we would have a robust community pro process and that it would include a, uh, a, a committee of individuals in the community to help us every step of the way as we go throughout the search process. And I wanted to call this, today, this meeting today to be able to introduce um, the search committee that will be guiding the board as we go through the search for a permanent superintendent and also touch briefly on uh, where we are in the process and, and, and a brief time -wise. On October 27th, 2011, the Community Education Task Force, Slave for Rochester Board of Education, Community Education Task Force, United Parent Community Organization, Parent and Community Coalition for Educational Change, Rochester Parent Union, Green Party of Monroe County, Rochester Adequate Funding, Parents Facebook Group, Take Back the Land, Social Welfare Action Alliance, Coalition for Justice and Education, Metro Justice, Rochester Indie Media, Supporters and Allies, held a picket and speak out at the Board of Education's monthly business meeting against the idea of hiring a superintendent search firm. At the same meeting, the board voted to approve a $40,000 contract with superintendent search firm Ray and Associates. It's been moved, it's been a motion to move 282 to the table, which relates to Ray and Associates. Pete, it's been moved by Commissioner Powell, seconded by Commissioner um, Cruz. Any um, further discussion around 282? I just want to say to the last remaining people who have concern about this issue that I genuinely believe that we can have an outside provider and still provide a robust parent and community involved in this issue. Genuinely regret it. Thank you. Any other further discussion? All of the people, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Um. Prior to and especially between October 27th, 2011 and November 8th, 2011, Malik Evans spoke frequently about the board's intentions to develop a robust parent and community engagement process relative to input into the superintendent's search and selection process. However, by the time Commissioner Mary Adams was added to the Superintendent Search Committee on November 9, 2011, there was no existing concrete plan by which so-called robust engagement was supposed to happen. In fact, Commissioner Adams volunteered to design a process which resulted in three community forums on December 3rd, 5th, and 6th, and nine focus group meetings, the bilingual Latino group, clergy group, district labor, community education advocates, higher education, labor, parent, student, and business, those were the community forums, or those were the focus groups, in accordance with the process that Commissioner Adams designed. Following the community forums and focus group meetings, all information was supposed to be brought back to the full search committee for analysis, and their analysis was supposed to inform the next steps in the process, including development of a job description. This never happened. Instead, the information was turned over to Ray and Associates, the superintendent search firm, which resulted in development and advertisement of a job description, which is not reflective of parent and community engagement and input. This has caused many parents and community members to feel like we were used to create a subterfuge regarding so-called robust engagement, while according to what we consider is reliable information, at least four board members have already made up their minds to support and vote for Boheen Vargas as the next permanent superintendent of the Rochester City School District, despite the fact that this process is not complete. Thus, once again, we call on search committee members to speak out about the serious fundamental flaws in the process and commit to development of a plan that will restore fairness and integrity.